What is going on everybody? Draco Invictus here with another night of Valheim and tonight we are joined by my good buddy Fane Tour. How you doing today? I am doing well actually. Uh, well, well even for Friday I'm doing well. Oh so. uh, shit, for Friday I'm doing fantastic. You're not doing fantastic? No? He's he's no, not fantastic I I, folks. I don't really do much fantastic eh. these days. Yeah. But you know, but well for me is well done. I'll take Fair it. enough. Well, um, speaking of well, I um, I'm gonna hold off on uh, on what we're doing today until uh, until we get a few more people in here. Uh, just because, well, I I don't want to have to explain it a bunch of times. So. <laughs> I should oh. come by. Uh, let me let me pop that way. Let me dump the rest of this stuff in my inventory. Yeah, I was just loading up on uh, uh, loading up my my smelters here. Yeah, I had just done that too. Uh, I may have to make a, a freaking wood run soon. <laughs> I mean, I only have half a chest. Oh, uh, plus I have whatever's down in the cart, so. It's not yes, bad. That's what I was doing. I emptied my card out earlier. I, I to pull it up. Man, I have 182 turnip seeds. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and I was happy with my 20 extra. Or right. It was. But I guess while we're waiting for people to join, I will gather up all my extra stuff here. All my extra gear. We're going to put that in like a gear box. Ooh, a gear box. Huh? See what I did there? Yeah. It sounds oh. like a software wishbone. Thing, yeah. What does the wishbone look like when you hang it on the wall? It doesn't hang on the wall. I've tried. You might really? be able to put it on flat, but you can't hang it on the wall. Nope. That's garbage. Try it. Maybe it, Maybe I was... No, I'm enough, sure you were right, but I'm but it, still going to try it. But yeah. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I, I wanted it up there because it glows like the key. Right. They, you cannot attach this item. Yeah. Well, that's some see bullshit. Flat, see if you can put it flat on All the... All right, uh, let's see if we can put a flat table. one down. Yeah. Oh, I have the table right over here. For my my little harbor master, right? That's, uh, that's why I got this here. Put that there. And seven. No! Neither one of them. Oh, great. It took my damn hammer. <laughs> Every time. I <laughs> know. Every damn time. Where'd the hammer go? Uh, oh, there it is. I was like, where did my hammer go? Uh, let's try this again. Okay. Now we're in build mode. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Every time I come here now, the grass, this, your 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 dungeon is full of grass. Oh, right, because you're spawning in a little bit faster? Yeah. All right, I'm moving stuff over here. Um, uh, Let's put that down here. Let's see. Sweet baby Jesus. I have entirely too much crap. Okay, this old torch can go. Matter of fact, all the items... Why am I holding on to any torches? That stuff can all go. Yeah, I, I, I found a I found a chest at the village that had some torches in it and I went What? Really? There needs to be an item grinder. Well, you know, I have I have a a recycler mod, but it doesn't run on the dedicated server. Uh yeah, so, local local only, huh? Yeah. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. It can't be. So it spot. won't uh won't work, but I, while we're, um, I mean, it says we have five concurrent viewers, but I don't believe that number until someone says hi in chat. So other than you. Oh, I, 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 I was <laughs> other than you. Okay. Uh, where did it go? I, <clears throat> all right, let's try this again. We've been doing this. We've been doing this too much. I can't even get, I can't even get the jokes out before you shut me. Nope. Up. Nope. Absolutely not. All right. We're processing a crap ton of silver here. This may be all the silver that I need. I, I well, it probably is all the silver that I need. I should probably look yeah. and see what I need to upgrade. I honestly, I, 
I, I wouldn't be lying if I said I had too much silver. Okay, so now the harpoon would look a whole lot better if it was turned mm -hmm. 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Just 90 mm -hmm. degrees. Yep, that's what I that's what I said. To you. Or even better than that, like like. No, I don't need I don't need better than that. I don't need better than that. I just want it to rotate 90 degrees so we can see the cool pattern of the little bone shard sticking off of it when it's hanging on the wall, staring at it. You have to be over where I'm at to see it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, so. That's what I told you. It's straight up and down. It's ugly. Yeah. It's really too bad because it's an awesome weapon, but it just looks like hell on the wall. Um. Let's see. Can I? Can I potentially? No. Nope. Oh, well, you might be able to. Yeah. Just don't turn your whole place upside down. Uh, that was the fear. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no, that just... Well... <gasps> Ooh. Can I do... No? Can I do this? Okay, so that rotates it that way. How about this? No. I want to twist it the other way. Alt. Oh! <gasps> Bingo. There you go. Put it right in line with the beam. Yep. Awesome. That's the right line. Now I just gotta figure out how to move it. What? No, 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 you're fine, Russ. What's going on? We're just kind of messing around. But just waiting for people. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Am I moving it? Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, wow. What is it doing way out here? That wasn't the idea. No, definitely not the idea. <laughs> scoot back scooch there we go I almost there stream because on my screen all i see is you just walking funny right no that For was a... the case people are wondering you can't see when somebody's in the build menu with their hammer and stuff you can't as the as another player on the server you can't actually see what they're doing until the item is placed right until i'm done messing around with it um right, so okay. i just get to see like like's doing this funny dance and everything but you know. so that way no not that way hey, this way oh that's it right there i got it okay now i just need to move it down no down no down down there we go and it's not floating all right Nope. That immediately looks cooler. Hold on. I need to lock it into place. There we go. What is going on, Russ um, and Barbarian? Interesting. Hey, for reference, the, it's not on there for me. What's the, not on you, there? You've moved the you've moved the the um, the stand, but uh, the harpoon is not in the stand. Uh, it's uh, it's it's just I don't know where it is, but it isn't there for me. Well, for my reference, it's on the damn stand. Right, I can see it. I'm just telling you. I can see it on the on the thing, on the stream. I'm just telling you that. Actually, uh oh, the, did I did I screw it up? Uh, did I hose it up? I I might have. Yeah, see, it does the same thing. It says. Oh, now it took my damn hammer. But the hammer hung correctly. Okay, so if I can yeah. figure out how to get the harpoon off. Where did the harpoon go? I'm not seeing... It's not lighting. Is it maybe over here? No. I don't know where the harpoon went. Uh, doing well, Russ. Doing very well. Matter of fact, um, hold on. Let me look away. I'm going to go six. I'm going to break that. There's my harpoon. Did I pick it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. No. Pausing to make sure. No. Where did, did you pick it up? Did it end up in your inventory? Looking. No. Son of a bitch. I ain't got one at all. So. I'm well. Back in the chest. So. Okay, that's not cool. Yeah. I guess I'll just have to spawn one in. No, I probably... No, I have enough chitin. Shit. I'll just make another one. Not a big deal. Yeah, I made one to put on the wall specifically, and then it hung straight up, you know, vertical 90, and I'm like, oh, man. 
That was not, um, that was too bad. I really was hoping it was going to be, it was going to be, just turned. you know, horizontal instead of, instead of. Oh, no, I, w I didn't think it was going to be horizontal. That doesn't make sense. It's a vertical stand. The harpoon would go up and down. Right. I just wish that it was rotated on the yeah, Y the, axis. Yeah, within the stand, yeah. To show the thing to the side. Not All right, there, oh, there's the harpoon. Oh, yeah. I got 76 chitin. I think I got this handled. <laughs> there we go. Can I upgrade the harpoon? No. All right. Well, yeah, I don't what? think any of the abyssal weapons up. No, they actually. don't. Oh, uh, let's it see. Is all that it is. Ooh, I can upgrade my armor. Let's do that. Let's just get that done. All right, guys. Now that there's a bunch of you here, um, I'll actually uh, show you what I've been working on. Um, so typically, on the nights that I'm not streaming, I'm trying to figure out, okay, what the hell am I going to do on the next stream? Am I going to build something? Okay, if I'm going to build something, what am I going to build? Uh, I try and kind of like do a pre-build just to kind of wrap my idea, my head around any idea that I throw down. And you can ask Marcus, I build something, I tear it down, I build something a little bit different, I tear it down, I build something a little bit more different, keep twisting that idea each time until ultimately I come up with something that I go, okay, that'll work. I'll, I'll build maybe half to two thirds of it really kind of you know formulate it in my head how i'm going to you know put it together how i'm going to finish it all of those things and then i scrap all that stuff tear it all down so that i can build it again during the stream mainly try to watch him tear it down right mainly because i don't want to spend four hours trying to figure out how to do half a thing i'd rather spend the four hours off stream trying to do trying to figure out how to do half a thing so that during the stream, we can do the whole thing. So last night, I was working on something here at the new village. And um, I got to a point, I, and, and I, oh, crap. Well, you're going to get spoiled. Yep, I am going to get, no, oh, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make them come to me. Um. So mainly, oh, there's one. Oh, you bastard. So I make Marcus come over. He's like working on his own thing. He's working on his own village thing. And uh, I'm like, dude, you got to come look at this. Dude, you got to come look at this. So then he'll come over and he'll be like, oh, that's awesome. And um, so last night I was working on this thing and, and Marcus goes, okay. I don't normally say this, but you can't tear this down. You have to leave this up. And I'm like, well, dude, no, the whole idea is to, to build it on the stream. And he goes, no, 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 it, you just, you can't, you can't tear it down. And I was like, all right, well, I won't finish it then. Okay. That way I can at least finish it on stream. And I can also um, take the time to explain how I um, how I did it. Where are these guys? Oh, he's way over there. River. Damn, I'm overshooting. Me too. There we go. Apparently that river's not deep enough. Is there another one over on the river? No. The shake starts to fade. All right, so I decided to keep it. I, I decided to take Marcus's advice, and I kept it. So now we're going to kind of go see. All right, there's the last one. Uh, well, yeah, it, it had already said the event was ending. He was going to wander off what? anyway. Oh, I don't know. He was coming straight towards us, so. Oh, okay. Uh, so I decided to keep it, and here it is. This is the base for the new portal hub. So it has this twisted stairway. And I went with the green guck lanterns because they just, especially at night, this thing oh, totally pops. 
Then we come up here and I use the ironwood beams and I continued the whole idea of this twisting thing to go along with the portals themselves. And we have these little tendrils that twist out toward the outer ring. So this is a massive, massive platform. And the amount of portals that you could fit on this thing. Well, first off, you could line the outer ring and then you could almost do like an inner ring and still have plenty of room to walk around. Uh, one of the coolest features is the center, and honestly, you can't even see it very well. Let's go sleep, and um, we'll take a look at it in the daylight. But, um, but yeah, and we're going to finish that up tonight, and then we're going to start working on a feast hall, because I'm tired of cooking in my forge. I need a proper kitchen, and uh, so we're going to build a feast hall, and uh, see where it goes from there. So, yeah. Let's grab some Z's. Why am I not wearing any clothes? Oh, because I just upgraded them. It took them off me. <laughs> okay, I'm running around in a cape, a belt, and my underwear. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, and my helmet. And my helmet. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. That's, uh... That's the hell of a look. I'm, I'm like a professional wrestler here. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's go finish up the silver. Let's run upstairs really quick. Oh, and another thing I did off uh, off camera was I turned the smelters. So one drops down there, one drops down here, but they uh, they both come to the same location. Why? Oh, am I out? Am I done? Oh, I think I'm done. How many do I have in here? Zero of ten. Zero of ten. Wow. Here, wait. I managed to pick one up. Why does it say adding 19 coal but isn't doing anything? See, that one works. This one? No worky worky. Uh, did I screw something up when I when I twisted that plate? Do I need to restart? I don't know. Yeah, it you says added. No okay, come over here and look and see how many coals in this smelter. One. Okay, I see one. Yeah. Okay, if I just press E, so forget the mod that allows me to right. just dump them in there, right? I press E, it says added coal in the upper left-hand corner, but it still says one of 20. Well, here, toss me a piece of coal. I don't have any coal. It's in the box. Yeah, I can't add to it either. It says I don't have any coal. Even though you have coal. coal. Well, I, no, I, I had five. It ate the coal. It ate and, the coal. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, definitely need to restart. Yep. Hell, we may want to restart the server. All right, I'm yeah, going to quit out of here. I have it open over here, so I can, as soon as oh, you're yeah, out, okay. yeah, as soon as oh, you're yeah. out, I'll just restart it. Uh, log out, log And out. I'm going to play a little bit of music here, just so people don't right. think that, are you out? Wait, I'm uh, still, there yes, we go. I'm out. Now I'm out. I restarted everything right before. Farmed your second turtle thing today. Awesome, Russ. That's awesome. Welcome back, Russ. Uh, we had a little glitchiness going on with the server, so... All right, it is restarted and online. It takes so long. Oh, I know. It's ridiculous. All right, start the game. Let the game begin. I'm gonna have to restart. Oh. Well, Russ, I went and uh, showed the project that we're working on uh, at night. 
looks very cool. Uh, but there's some very, very cool features that you really don't get to appreciate until daylight. So you made it back just in time. Because then I found some little glitchy crap going on with the uh, smelters, so. All right, let's test our smelters again here. Oh, that worked. Woohoo! Yay. Yay. There was much rejoicing. And I have I have nothing left to process. No silver, no iron. Wow. Wow. That that's insane. I need to double check the boat. Hold on. <laughs> no, nope, boat's empty. Be, there's yeah. gotta be something I'm somewhere. Like, Something's gotta be. gotta be somewhere. Alright, let me get rid of all this extra gear that I've been carrying around because I was gonna put it away and then never got around to it. You have four three cultivators. Yeah. Don't ask me why. You have arrived. Actually, Congratulations. I, I, yeah. I, I All right. Have... So here's our project. It is a new portal hub. And it is... I, I think it is an absolute thing of beauty. Uh, this was a ton of fun to figure out last night. Um, but let's go up top. Because I used a banded, uh, the iron wood beams... And this spot right here, this like starburst in the center, is just fantastic. I mean, and as you guys can see, when the sun comes up a little bit more, it'll really light this whole thing up. But um, first off, ironwood beams, they're legit. And I, like wow. I said, um, Marcus didn't want me to tear this thing down, so I didn't. Because I was going to take it back down to the ground. And, and start over tonight on stream. Just have the idea in my head and start over. So what I am going to do, uh, before we go working on the top of this thing, I'm going to show you how I built the staircase um, so that you can do it uh, if you wanted to do something like this yourself. So let's just come over here. We don't need a lot of land for this because it's very, very small. So I'm gonna we're going to be putting the feast hall over over here anyway and um, that's the wrong tool there we go so I'm gonna just level out and that's pretty much all we need I'm gonna be doing a lot more leveling here in a little bit um I uh, maybe a little bit wider thank you Mark or Russ appreciate it okay so, here's the trick. I laid out the, the wood trim that's around the bottom, right? And it's not a trick, okay? But I, I just laid this out. I said, okay, it's uh, too, sp or too long, and then one rotation too long, one rotation too long, and make the circle around the bottom, okay? And then, I just picked the central point. There were two beams here, right, as part of the circle. I went this beam in the middle, and then I took the two meter horizontal beam and I connected right here to the two of them. And I ran it all the way across and I found my center point. And of course, that's where the center of the stairs is. So now we're just going to pretend that that is the center point because that's all we really need. Okay. Now, instead of, it looks like it's just a core wood beam there. It is not, okay? It is actually a wood iron pole that is there. And if I take that out, no. Hold on. I think it's, I'm not super flat here. Oh, I know what I did. Okay. So, wood iron pole goes there. Okay, and then we're going to stack another one. Here. And actually, we want to go four high. Total. So then, you take the log pole four meter, and you put it in the same spot. So now it has wrapped itself with the iron beam inside. Okay. And then I can put the second one there. Now I can take these out. 
Because this is supposed to be touching, but it's not. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why that wasn't touching before. I think it's just because I haven't really, really flattened out this area. But anyway, so it's blue. Now we want to take, oops, wrong button. We want to take a one meter wood beam and we want to snap it as low as we can there. And then we're going to take the two meter log beam and it will snap right onto the top of this little one meter beam here, okay? And now we can, uh, yeah, there's our rotation and then rotate again. Get on the beam, rotate again. And oops. And onwards and upwards we go. Oops. Getting a little too click happy there. I did it again. Now, I will say that this version of the stairs is not my original idea. I am not claiming it as my original idea. I did it again. All right. So that should put us almost in line. We're literally one click away. Like it would be right here, right? So we're perfectly in line top to bottom. Okay. And, oh, come on. Now, let's get out of here. I want to set these stairs, so I need to flatten that just a little bit more. And maybe this one over here. There we go. Okay. There, that looks better. Now we want to put up our stairs. And the stairs, you want to look at the end of the beam, right? So we're looking right here on the beam or lower. So now if I grab my stairs, I look there. The first set of stairs you're going to end up taking out anyway, so don't worry about it. And I typically use and okay, get my rotation. There we go. Then we grab the next beam. And I'm doing one click rotation on the stairs, just like I did on the poles. So the stairs are lining up um, perpendicular to the end of the pole. Come on. There it is. And for those of you that say, oh, you're using the camera. That's like cheating. I'm doing this from the ground, baby. All right, so there's our stairs. And it takes us all the way up to the top. So then what I would typically do is actually these stairs can come out, right? And then we would grab our ironwood beams and we're gonna look here, do the rotation, right? And it's just one turn, click, one turn, click. You guys get the idea here. Now 
we can actually hop up here and do it from up here. Oh, is that it? Last, no, one more. There we go. So then you can actually build out. So to do the, the, the sweeping turn, it's two lengths out from center. So this plus one, and then it's one turn each. So we go there and then it's a one click rotation and it would go there. Now I'm going to use the camera just because I don't want to build a bunch of scaffolding. So this third piece out gets a one click rotation. Fourth piece, one click rotation, and then another one click rotation, and then one more. I think it's four. One, two, three, four. Yep. And we are one, two, three, four. So then you would do this for all of the spokes, even the ones that go right over the stairs, even these here, you'd want to bring it out the two and then the one click rotation. Like so. So you would do that all the way around and then you could do the metal banding ring that connects them all. And if we come down here and look at this one, I put in these little flourish pieces here around this opening and I thought it looked so good. I went and did it around the rest of it. So that is uh, these pieces here. So this piece would go like that so that when this piece oh, I'm standing there, hold on. Let me move. Right. And then that goes like that. And then you would do the same thing over here. And I'm just going to do this first rotation. And then this piece would go like this. So you'd end up with that same pattern from joint to just above the joint, but it meets in with this banding here. So it all looks like it's all interconnected. So that is how you build the base of it. And of course I did extra flourishes on it. Like I took the four meter pole, uh, the horizontal one, and I did a matching one on the opposite side. Like so. So you, you'd get this sweeping thing across all the way around kind of like a double helix kind of a thing. So that is how you build the base. <laughs> and I made, I did that in what, 10, 15 minutes. And it took me how many hours to figure it out last night? Oh my God. Yeah, quite a few. Quite, quite a, a few, few hours to figure this out last night. But, quite a uh, few revisions. That's why. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's why he didn't want me to tear it down because he was worried that I wouldn't be able to get it the same. Well, no, I wasn't worried about that. I was worried that something out of your control would go wrong. That's what I was worried about. Right. Like what worked yesterday simply would not work today. Making it rain. Rain and iron. I should probably put my clothes back on. Um, did I just, I put them away. That's a good job on my part. Yep. Oh, God. Don't mind me, people. Let's grab, um, just running around in my under ruse right now. Let's grab this cart so we can go pick up all the rest of that stuff.
Dude, really? You made me run all the way down there? <laughs> really? I thought you were going to take off your underoos. That's what... I was grabbing a cart to take off my underoos? No, I was grabbing the cart to pick up all this crap. <laughs> you kill me sometimes. <laughs> Is that my job? See something down here. What do you see? I thought I saw something um, making its little sparkle smoke, but uh, evidently not. All right. Did I get everything? Yeah. Just jam it in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm you, yeah. There is a mod to turn uh, boars and wolves into pack animals. Attach them to your cart. Oh, here's what I saw. All right. No, that's my iron. Wolf armor. There we go. Wolf armor. There we go. Hey, I'm not naked anymore. And put that away. All right. And now it's the end of daylight, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. It's uh, five o'clock, which means that the sun goes down. Well, I guess we better go grab some rest. I want to welcome any new viewers. Welcome, everybody. We're just kind of uh, getting some sleep now, apparently. All right. 6 a.m. Let's do it. Okay, so now we actually want to build the top of this thing. And um, I'm, I don't think I'm going to put a roof on it. I think it, it just it doesn't need a roof. But I want to do some cool like design up here. So we'll kind of uh, throw some stuff around. Let's get into well, build mode. What's that? I think I'm going to let you build. And okay. I'm going to go futz around. Okay. Because I'm not really doing you any good over here aside from standing here. So. All right. I will be futz around. If you want to go by and um, at some point and show off my fire pit. And oh, absolutely. Like guest, yeah. Holler at me and I'll, you know, but I'm going to go run around and see what I can mischief I can get into. All right. This, I don't think this is going to take too long. I, I don't want to do anything too complicated up here. Right. So. Well, that's all good. I'm just saying. I'm just kind of standing there, so I figure I'll go do something else for a while. All right. I don't know. I, I kind of like the fact that they're, like, leaning in. So let's uh, try that. Hmm. Now, the real question is... That does not line up to the center here. Which means if I were to like take this 45, angle it this way, it's not going to be pointing toward the middle. So, we're on the wrong points. So we were on, we were jumping from this point over to this point. So I think we need to be here. Can we still rotate them in one tick? Oh, we can. So we can still get the same look. And now if I went with a 45 up, 
No, that's not going to work either. Oh, that lag. What's up, True Flat? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> okay, so. Let's. Hmm. So this point goes to here. So this needs to be our center, right? However we do that, that's what lines up with the center of our circle here. Just relax. Good. Yeah, oh, man, I'm hanging in there. So what if we did something a little bit more like that? Is that too crazy? And then like, I don't know. Did that? Hmm. Where does this line up? Harrison. It lines up, but it may be like low. See, I don't think that they would count that as a support. If I take this out, yeah. It is being counted as a support. That, that's weird. That's very red. <laughs> hmm. You know what we could do? Let's take these down. I don't need the center one anymore. I know where my mark is. All right. So we go there, go there. Is that right? Or is that the same? Did I just redo the whole thing again? I did. Now, if we put this one in, and then we grab this, oh, that's perfect. That may still be red, but that is perfect. All right. So, nope. All right, we're gonna put the center pull back in for now. Hopefully we don't have to keep it there. We shouldn't have to.
Definitely liking this design though. All right, chat, what do you guys think? You liking it? I like the tilt for sure. Definitely kind of brings it back in, you know, because we're kind of, oh, no. Let's get that one wrong. Because we have this narrow base and then we come up to this grand, like, treetop kind of a thing. That's not on the right one either. It's not right. There we go. Okay. Oh, hammer's broken. I seriously need to make a second hammer. Wait a minute. I have one. I think I need to carry two hammers. How sad is that? Not in that drawer. It's sad. Yeah, there's a second hammer. And you need two hammers to do your job. Upgrade hammer. Yep. Yeah. One stone, one wood. Might as well upgrade. I don't know if I have enough resources for that. Well, be careful. You know, you might need them for something else later. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I always need wood and stone. <laughs> All right. Back into build mode. Come on. There. Oh, there it is. not going to go in? 
Yeah, gonna fight me. All right, fine. Go there. Here's another little trick for you guys. Now, of course, you could build scaffolding to get on top of this thing. Again, I'm just gonna use the camera because the logs will snap on top of each other. So I couldn't place this top one a second ago. It was just a little too tight here in the middle. But by snapping this one one lower, now I got that one piece in, so. Little tip for you guys. Hopefully that helps. Now, can we take this beam out? I'd say, yep, we're good. Wow. All right. Certling cores and gray dwarf eyes. Well, I got those. I just got to go get them. <laughs> Is it your first one, Russ? Did Russ run into his first wraith? Oh, <laughs> Our little boy's all grown up. <laughs> I really hope you get a trophy from it. It's awesome. Yes, it is. Gray dwarf eyes. Yes, come along. Oh, yeah. A hundred should be fine. And here's the thing with no walls up here, you better make sure you don't have any ore in your pockets when you go to sprint through a portal. <laughs> Otherwise you're coming right off the top. Right <laughs> off the edge. And you know, it'll be me that does that shit. So I will be like, wee. All right, where? There'd be a little skull and crossbones right there. Yeah. Hmm, how do we want to put these in? Maybe we could do them at an angle like this. That might be kind of cool. Just kind of tuck it right in there. Let's see what that looks like. Then we'll turn this one. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah. You got to be careful with a wraith because if it bites you in the ass, you're, you're uh, that'll hurt. All right. So. All right. What do we think about the, the turned versus straight on? I mean, if you were walking around in a circle clockwise... It'd be facing you the whole time, so. All right, um, hmm. They will be right back. All right. I kind of like the turn. That's different. Maybe. It's not like I'm worried about wasted space up here. That's for damn sure.
And if anyone's wondering, uh, the gates are connecting to themselves. Oh, what am I out of? Oh, fine wood. Oh, fine wood. All right. Here. Oof. Yeah, we're definitely out of fine wood. Well, I think we have enough portals down to cover what we've already b done. So. Okay, work call done. Work called? Work called. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yes. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> wow, that works out perfect. Because I think that there are eight gates in the <laughs> that are currently set up. I am very far from a bed, I just realized. Where are you at? Sorry. I'm exploring the trader island looking for Thistle to line your drive. Oh. <laughs> Mention all this other crap that I don't want. It's okay, I'm working by the glow of a gate. All right, so we've got signs up. So the question is, let's see, we did, we're coming up here. What is your... Hmm? What is your gate called? Which one? The one that my main base? The one that or... takes you to the hub. Faint tour. Okay. With a capital S, I'm assuming. F, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Come on, keyboard. One, two, three. Oh, wait, we only need four.
Then this one is Elder. This is Bone Mass. Oh, no. We do need five, so I gotta shift all these over. This will be a motor. And then this one will be Jagluth. And then we'll make this one the trader. This one is Mr. Painter with no E on the end. I think that's the name of it. Go we'll find out. One word. Did I have it as one word or two? I don't remember. All right. So this one can go away. Oh, need a crafting station. Oh, I don't even have 10 wood. I suck. Oh. Should be easy enough to find, huh? Too bad you upgraded that hammer. You might have had enough wood. I know, right? I probably have wood still. No, I probably don't have wood still sitting over here. Oh, here's a branch. Which what I got now? Six. Cool. <laughs> Ten. That's all I need. Hank! Welcome, Hank. Alright, build. Workbench. There we go. Now, scrap it. I'm going to double check all of these first. Shrine. Elder. Bone. Okay, so... Okay, Shrine, Elder, Bone Mass. That one I have labeled as Mountain. So, Motor... And home site one word, trader one word. Okay. Yeah, I know. Still is Hank. So I call you by your screen name. So you show up as Hank. That's what I'm gonna call you. All right, bone mass gone. Mountain gone. This one. I don't think this one. Oh, that's my home site. Okay. So I can't destroy this one because that's how I get home. So um, I will leave 
Actually, I can gut all the... Do I really need all this wood? No, because I can't carry it. Okay, so... I made a video not too long ago about abandoning old portals. Hopefully, I got it right. Now, this portal isn't actually connected to anything, okay? Because I spelled it as home site with two, with a space. See, if I put the space in, this will actually connect me to the hub now. Actually, I probably spelled site with a capital S. Or did I? I don't remember what I named it. I've slept since then. Yes, that was three minutes ago. There it is. All right. So now this should take me up to the top of the the new hub, which it does. So now I can name this one uh, Forge. There we go. Okay. Uh, Yagluth won't be firing off motor. Um, right now I have it labeled as mountain. Uh, bone mass will take me. Elders lit, the shrine's lit. So the only one that's not lit right now is, is Yagluth and the forge because I have to go rename that and the bat, the last ones that I haven't used anything for. All right. How much guck do I have left? Let's see. I've got 10, so I can do five torches. I have to go guck farming. What I wouldn't give for a piece of iron in my pocket right now. <laughs> Just you so. Tina put, put a personal chest up there because it's small with one piece of iron in yep. it. Just so you can. Just so when I'm working in here, they just. Oh, I guess I'm done. All right. That's all I. That's all I had. All the guck I had. All right. So. I know the morning's I'll go coming. See what I have. I'll bring you. Um... Oh, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I just wanted to kind of put some lights on the top of this thing. And that thing is fantastic. That's wow. All right, chat. What do you guys think of the new portal hub? Oh, wait, there's one more thing to do to the portal hub. Marcus has been waiting for this all night long. Wait, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming right now. <laughs> well, come on. I worked my way back to the portal. Nice. I failed to mention earlier that this entire thing is supported by the stairs. Go ahead, take some out. We can get rid of all this small trim pieces down here as well. You guys weren't expecting the Spanish Inquisition, were you? Comfy pillow torture. And my inventory is full, so I'm going to come over here. Oh, we got to get rid of these. There we go. So yeah, uh, let's uh, deposit that and that and that. We're just gonna hoover all this crap right up. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I missed one. So, there you go, guys. That is the full... That's the full one right there. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. It's something all right. It's something else. I can't wait to see it at night again with all the stuff missing. Take a little screenshot. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to go clear out my inventory. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, you care to join me, Marcus? We're, I'm, I'm going to work on the feast hall a little bit later, so. Oh, okay. Let me empty my crap out, too. Yeah. Don't need two of those. Oops. Got to put those back in their original box. I don't need my harpoon, but I may leave it on the boat. Just so that I always have it with me. There's a lot of things that I need to do um, here, obviously, still. Um, I need to find a good place for a farm. Probably not over here, simply because I want it close to where I'm going to be cooking food. So it's going to be over here somewhere. So maybe back in this little meadow area here, this will turn into the new farmland over here. So that like, it's like the farm to table kind of idea with the, the feast hall here. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, going to keep that in mind. But that is a nice little flat area down there. But, I mean, I can terraform, you know, with enough pickaxes. I can, and hoes. <laughs> I can tear. I still don't know what I'm going to do up here. I'm going to tell you guys this every single stream until I actually do figure out. And that's going to be the stream that we're working on this. Because once I figure this out, I'm going to want to start laying it. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do up here yet. I, I don't know if I'm. it's going to remain as the circle thing. This was, again, just a kind of a, a test for my own brain to get it out and uh, see what was going on. So uh, this would be, well, no matter what I build up here, it's going to be freaking massive. So, uh, but yeah, still don't know what I'm doing there. All right. Um, how are my tools? Like? I want my hammers a little worse for wear, but I'm not planning on doing a crap ton of building. I have 80 obsidian arrows. That should be good. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. See, there's still silver up here. I mean, I'm looking at a silver vein right now. <laughs> but it was dark up here when I was last up here. And I was like, ah, screw it. Come on, we're going home. We got like half a boat of silver or so. Um, we actually want to head uh, this direction, Marcus. Okay. Ooh, there's a huevo right there. Yep. I hear Drake's. Oh, there you are. It's like, where'd you go? I oh, turn around and. Oh, didn't see that coming, huh?
Damn it. They're fighting something up there. Um, y you'd be hard pressed to do it. You probably could. You could probably figure it out. Oh, found second egg. For example, okay, if I'm looking around in here, I'm going to say, oh, now keep in mind, I don't have bone mass equipped, right? I'm, I'm wearing begging yord. Yep, you can do it without it. <laughs> Hell yeah! Because that's silver right there. <laughs> yep. Now you'll follow, you'll follow that vein forever. Yeah. So yes, it can be done. You don't need. You do not need um. The wishbone. To not find really. silver, right? Once you know what you're looking for. But yeah. Ow, you little bastard. Boy, this one's an empty one. Oh, obsidian. This is a nice chest. What'd you find? Just look at it. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, not that we need any money for anything, but... No, oh, but still, I mean, you gotta admit, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, you know, if you came across that chest, you wouldn't. Oh, hell yeah. Like, well, I mean, look at all this obsidian in this valley. I know it. Yeah, well, tons. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, well, seven. There's yeah. There's back there that we didn't get either. Right. I mean, it's like, the best thing about obsidian is you can, you can portal with it. Oh, yeah. And it makes great arrows. Fantastic oh, yeah. arrows. I've got a whole bunch. I really don't need right now to carry any more around. So we got castle remnants up here. Yeah. Yeah, this is very remnants. Yeah, this is like nothing left. All right, we're going up right here. So you got one and I got one. We need one more, right? Yeah, which I'm sure there's probably one right around here. Nope. Can't see. Nope. save lag too so i think well i think we should have i should have grabbed the the portal that was down the mountain to bring up here on the off chance that we die you know yeah we could have buried it back over in here put it up on this peak or something just so that it was close enough but far enough away 
from the battle itself. All right, let me take a look at this map here. So we got that egg, we got that egg. I thought I had a third egg. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. That. I just get rid of all these. We get rid of, or we have that egg. We have that egg. Yeah, this blizzard doesn't help. I'm gonna go grab the, the portal stuff really quick. It's just over on the other side of this hill. Alright. So, if you want to look for the other egg... Sure. It's kind of hard to I do, can, you know. Because I can see really well in this area. Oh, can you? Perfect. Because I can't see for shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Man, all these frost shards just sitting around here. Uh huh. What? No, just right, getting these guys right out of the sky is quite uh, uh, quite satisfying. Oh yeah. All right, we'll leave the fire here. It'll be the eternal flame of the mountain. There you go. Wolf, I'll fight you if you can catch me. Because you can just call me fucking Mountain Goat right now. All right, so motor spawn is over here. So what's your plan? I was just going to build a shack to put it in. Oh, okay. So that way if we spawn, we... Uh... <laughs> that little bastard was persistent. <laughs> I told him, I told him if he could catch me, I'd fight him. So where do you want to put the shack? Uh, where's she, um, I kind of can, well motors over here, right? Yeah. Well then let's put it let's put it right here. Not okay. Stone. Let's see here. Hang on a minute. Let me. All right. Uh, you do that. I'm gonna collect some stone. Okay. Oh, I had the wood for the for the bench. I picked that up. If you need more wood, just holler.
Uh, that may be too close. That may be the closest one that we need right there. Now, of course, there's a blizzard blowing right now, so it's not gonna, the fires aren't gonna light. But the idea is, is that if you do die, and like right now, I, well, actually I have three, but those three frost resistance means would be on my dead body. So in order to get back out here in the freezing temperatures, you set up campfires and you can literally run from fire to fire and it, you freeze for just a, a brief second as you're getting cooler as you move away from one fire. But then you would pick up the next fire's warmth and you'd stop freezing. And the idea is, is now you're close enough to grab the stuff off your body so that you could get back into the fight. And this is actually how you could work up in the mountains if you didn't have the frost resistance mead or a wolf cape. Is you could literally set a string of fires, build a fire around where you're mining, or build two or three fires around where you're mining, uh, just to kind of keep you warm so that you could actually mine for silver. We've got a cozy little chateau up here in the mountains. As he slams the door in my face. Do you want more roof? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Oh, shit. I... How did... Where'd the workbench go? Oh. I just knocked it down. Oh. I didn't put it back up. I ran out of wood. Oh, leave my house alone. Guy, that still, I cannot get it going that fast, you know? What? I, I can't get my pole that fast, you know? Oh, well. That's because you weren't using the bow as much earlier game. Right. So, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I was whacking everything. Hey, easy. Family show, remember? With the mace. <laughs> Mr. O, immediate to the gutter. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. I, I didn't. I never said anything different. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. I'm out of wood, too. Shit. Here I was trying to help. Dead. Ah, shit. Wow. Should have built the portal when I had the chance. Please tell me you survived. Yeah, just barely. 17 health. All right. Um, and I'm fighting a Drake. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. Whew. So go into my body, get the fine wood. The <laughs> okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> Unless you want me rafting over to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, wait, that's weird. Did you die? To wait, it's no, like Draco and Draco with a yes. one. That's weird. Yes, because I had so much stuff in inventory because of uh, the, the okay, so equipment mod. Fine wood. Gray Dwarf Eyes, Certling Cores, that's it, right? Yeah, but that's the Grave Digger mod. That, oh, it, it creates a okay. second headstone if you have enough equipment that you might lose something, so.
let's see uh what are we calling it again mountain with a capital m yeah i heard it just connect goes yep oh that's right i forgot to change that gate to uh to forge. I was like, why isn't this gate down here in the forge lighting up? And, um... Oh, shit. I need to put fucking stairs there. I know, <laughs> but for now. Go ahead and clean your bed and so we can... Yeah, I need to get equipment so I don't freeze to death. <laughs> Even standing by that fire, it's not enough? Oh, the bed's right here. All right. There we go. Oh, there you go. That sounds cool. And uh, bone mass is... Um, I thought we were sleeping. I was waiting for you. I laid down in bed. <laughs> Did you not just tell me to lay down? I told you to claim your bed. Oh, okay. Claim my bed, yeah. Uh, bone mass is uh, weak to frost damage, by the way. And melee. And melee. So the frostner is the weapon to use against bone mass. All right, here we go. Sprint. Oh, I have 150 health. I'm fine. I'm going to stand out here for a second. Just take it all in. Got my cape on. I'm good. Put that on. That on. That. And we can put that on. And do do do. Ate the last of my carrot soup. I'm sad. Oh, yeah, I'm just sad. Camera goes there. That goes there. Dude, I cannot believe how many wolves and drakes showed up here. Yeah, I know it. You were getting very intricate with that little chimney. Yeah. There. All right. Now I can eat. <laughs> us too hank us too all right I'm trying to get the stairs to go in there are they not going i say sarcastically i got the stairs in so he shuts the door in my face All right. Um, do we want to go drop some stuff off? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that question is always yes. All right. I'm going to reset the forge gate. I did, uh, I was looking through mods, uh, today at lunch and, um, there's a mod that will allow you to portal to other worlds, to other maps. How crazy is that shit?
All right, obsidian arrows. I don't need that many, but why not? Um, cauldron. Wait a second, I probably already have some in one of these. Oh, I got more snossages. That's perfect. Turnip stew. Turnip stew. And, and carrot soup. Meat. Oh, what am I thinking? Good a call. Boy, I was selling myself short. Where did I? Oh my god, what's going on here? Get off me! Stupid carts. <laughs> They're like, no, don't leave us here! The barrels are mean! <laughs> All right, I am going to grab one sea serpent meat. There we go. First, we got to cook the sea serpent meat. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no, what? I forgot something. Now I'm ready. Okay. Uh-oh. No, no. Oh, boat's getting crazy out there. I did see a pretty cool thing. I'm waiting for this. There it is. All right. I want to see if I can do this. This guy. Come out here. Oh, that's not the one. That's the one. Come on, settle down. It's not the right height. And it's backwards. It needs to be that high. And it's at an angle. There we go. Wow, did you see that thing snap down? The boat's doing a wheelie. What do you think? I think as long as it doesn't wreck the boat, I think it's all cool. There we go. Now the boat might flood, <laughs> right? If the boat can't go up. But the idea is, is that you open the gates. Viking and it, submarining. And then you could just sail away. Oh, shit. Wow. There we go. Those doors force the force <laughs> the boat around. Here, I got these for you. Oh, what do we got? Oh, nice. Thank you. Mm. Did you, did you make the good food? The serpents do. 
No. Not worried about it? No. Nope. You're like, ah, screw it. I'm good. Yeah, I don't need it. Got 160 health at full health. I'm okay. 60, 40, 50, 50. Hmm. I think I'm going to take the sausage. And I'm not going to take this, the turnip stew. But I'm going to take the carrot soup because it gives 10 more stamina. This can go down here. I'm just going to clear all these off for now. It sure locks that boat down, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I was actually watching. That's crazy. All right, cool. Oh, hold on. It's just oh, coming. We never did find the third um, egg either. We got to get the third. Oh, egg. yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We can't portal with it. I was like, I got one. Yeah. I guess I'm decorating with that one. up a guardrail so now we gotta not fall right into the fire and I put all my wood away not like I had a bunch oh yeah oh well who hear that storm yep all right it is 1154 at least we have plenty of daylight but no fires We gotta find the other egg. Right. Now this is going to be a listen for the Drakes. They're always guarding. Oh, here, found it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just I don't know run right up the hill from motor. <laughs> All right, we ready for this? Oh yeah. He says, oh, yeah, sure. oh yeah, sure. Don't you know? All right, time to sacrifice the eggs. Are you dead? Yeah, he knocked me off the mountain. <laughs> oh, shit. Drake's on top of it, really? and put a log here. Oh shit, you're gonna crush me with a damn tree. Oh, that was cold. Oh, 
No, you don't this time. Is it chasing you up there? No, it's on the oh, other okay. side of the hill for me. No, I thought it was I thought you were up on the hill. I was like, what the hell is it doing over there? Uh, I can't even tell if I'm hitting it other than when I fire its health goes down. See a motor? You wanna hang out up there? Shit. I'll yeah, shoot you in the ass all day. Is that the best you got? Come on. Oh, that's your ass right there. Yeah. Motor in tears. Rock on. Well, come here. Here. Oh, that's all right. You keep them. Then... No, you need. One... Oh, that's right. Yeah. You need to build the artisan just... table and stuff. Right. And we're gonna come up here and kill him again anyway. Yeah. Oh, maybe we'll do that again right now. I mean, I well, need we... more arrows and eggs, but yeah. Right. We I could go over to your it. mountain. <laughs> yeah, I need. See if my I need to see if I need to see if one of them responds. So get, let me go over there first. All right. There's just no reason to um, to run over there if uh, if it hasn't respond. And um, I'll go put the head on the shrine, I guess. All right. It sounds like a deal. See, we actually need to kill him two more times. Right, yeah, because we each need we each need uh, the head one for our apples, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Um, see, that's how we roll around here. Most people are like, "Oh yeah, oh look at that, we killed the boss once." We're like, yeah. "Shit, we need to do that two more times." Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, that's no, we don't even need to do that. Okay, I'll take care of this. Just uh What don't we need to do? Up. No, we can just kill him. No, that doesn't work. Forget it. That's dumb. Okay, no, forget it. I I kind of screwed this up, I think. Why? Well, because I brought all these eggs down here, but the reality is is they all have to get they're not good for anything. You know, I have to boat them all back. Oh, you brought him to your base? Yeah. Oh, shit. I put them all on the boat. But I've got, like I say, I've got plenty up there. I just need one more. So I, let me go see if it's respawned yet. So hang on. Because for, for me, my base is already my little, um, you know, setup is already built up there. So all that's taken care of. And where's the gate for your mountain base? Um, it's this, it's called Swamp 
because I haven't changed the I haven't changed the 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 sign. Is it at the village? Else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because I just moved the one from that swamp um, to. Um, Ah, swamp. Yes, the swampy mountains. That's where Frodo had to go next. Right. It was the swampy mountains. And you've pretty much covered this whole place, huh? Yeah. Oh, look what I get to repay you. One repay Drake me. trophy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I told you as soon as I got one, I would get it back to oh, you. Um... Oh, there's an egg down there. Okay. Yeah, I put one on motor already. So yeah. I've got one here. Do you have one with you? With, yeah. Okay, then I'll grab the other one right now. Okay. Yeah, there's one right in front of me too. Yep. They've all respawned. The only thing I haven't done is put a bed in... Uh, I need to put a bed in that little hut for you so you can respawn there in case okay so hang on to that egg okay and go fix the uh, fix the, the base here I don't think you have enough uh, stone stacks there, dude. Well, yeah, I know. Well, I wasn't <laughs> saving them, and then you were like, Let's see here, wait. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's a good start to a build right here. Yep. Okay, there's some of that. Sure. Bad. All right, there's a second bed in there, just barely. <laughs> All right, spawn point set. Are we ready? Uh, do you want to do it in the dark or do you want to sleep? Oh, it doesn't matter. We're gonna have the glow anyway. All right, well, because the weather see. changes, you know. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's just go do it then.
her. If anyone wants to know, Motor has 10,500 hit points. It's funny, is he didn't hit me once that whole time. Oh shit! <laughs> you little shithead! Oh, get over the log. Out of arrows. All right. Get wrecked. Health got low too. Did you get any uh, tears? Uh, no. Oh no. Yeah, I guess I got three. Okay, so let's. Because okay, I have so eight that, of fifty. Okay, so and I have seven of fifty. So, but I got no. But I gave. But you, I put the five you gave me away. So here I owe you. A oh, okay. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So we're missing one then? I don't know. You gave me five. Uh, and, and I had five because it dropped 10. Okay. So and I have seven. And I have eight. Well, technically I have three. So no, okay, that's right. Yeah, so you just need to give me two. Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking, yeah. but, but I didn't want to. Sorry, fuzzy math. All right. Awesome. So now I have 10 and you should have 10. Correct. Okay. All right. Which I think is actually more than enough for what we need. Here. Because I think the artisan table is like two. Go hang that one up first. Ooh. Yeah, Where, do we we the... Where do we want to? Where do we want to? Where do we want to hang it? You the uh, honors. Because what I'll do is I'll is I'll. I will sail back all those eggs tomorrow. Then maybe sometime this weekend we'll do it again. Ah, shit. Just wait a few days. They'll respawn. Keep the eggs. Yeah. <laughs> right? I, put, I plan on, on putting house. three eggs into a into like a double hearth and recreate the scene from uh, Game of Thrones. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bow is about dead. Yeah, mine, yeah, mine is too. <laughs> it's very dead. I'm out of arrows. I went toe to toe with Frostner and a freaking bow or a shield. Yeah, I hit him a bunch of times too. He, 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 he what was funny is, oh, you went right through. Well, I'm gonna repair my stuff here. I needed to make more arrows and all that stuff anyway, so. Right. I was going to say, we'll sleep the day, which will also reset our spawn points. Yep. 
whenever you get around to it if you want to hit the sleeps and then come back you can show i can show my uh yes because i got a i got a little bit longer than tonight than normal but i don't have a whole lot of time left so and then we will figure out um where to eat where to eat well first off where to hang the head that's oh yeah that's yeah. Important. well actually i'll tell you what here i'll come over there Okay. Since you're gonna, since you're not gonna, obviously not gonna hang the head over here. Well, I was just fixing to go to bed. If you're there, oh, I'm you're here. It. I'm in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Spawn point set. I mean, ultimately, I'm gonna hang the head in a trophy room. Right. But for now, maybe we hang it above the gate. Hang motor's head against the, uh, above the motor gate. All right, let's see. I've got arrows, everything's fixed. Not really a lot of room here to... I don't have walls. <laughs> you can always do like I did with Trolden and, you know, build a little... A little ward? In the back. Yeah. Well, let's see if I and... can't um, hang that. Um... <laughs> Problem is, I don't know that you could actually go through the gate. Oh, you can. Yep. Yeah, I saw some guys. They were using troll heads behind them. Yeah. Nice. Well, then you know what that means, right? Huh. It means we have to go kill Bone Mass Eld and the Elder and Ekthir again and put each one behind their portal. <laughs> yeah, but this is a temporary thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Besides, I have an Elder and an Ekthir to hang up. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I would say that out of... I don't know. I love Motor's trophy. I love Eek There's trophy. Elders is all right. Bone Masses sucks. Yeah, Bone Mass is crap. Yagluth is a bad ass trophy. The one I like is the one you get from the 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 rock golem. Oh yeah. The big glowing crystal. Yes. Yeah, that one's actually pretty cool too. It's not a it's not a head or anything like that, but it's just it's really cool. Right. Wow. We're moving on to planes. Yep. Luckily we happen to know where a, at least a decent sized one is. Have you uncovered another one? I uh, got a little tiny stretch over here by the swamp. Well, there's a, yeah, there's a, there's a pretty big Got that one um, there too. On the back side of my island, there's a big one. Oh yeah. Wow. And what's cool it, here, let me show you. Um, I'm looking right, at the map. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Right here is where that village is. With oh, the, up uh, there. And it, and it literally, the, well, I sent you the pictures. It straddles the, the, right. The, the meadows. And the, the meadows and the plains so um you know that would be a pretty good spot to start i'm thinking yeah you know
And and we, we the potential is is that you're gonna have to hit a few different planes areas, right? Because you have to find enough totems, and that's typically not in one plane zone that you would find right. them all. There are cloud berries and stuff like all over the ground right next to that um, that village. That's one of the reasons why I picked them up because they were just they were literally right there. Sure. I thought, well, I can't do nothing with them, but might as well pick them up anyway. And see, I'm gonna need I need two gates in the planes for this build because I'm establishing just so you guys know. Um, I think Marcus and I have already talked about it, but just so the chat knows, I'm establishing a base in the planes because I want to set up a barley and flax farm because those two items only grow in the planes. So I want to set up a fortified base in the planes that I can gate to, well, we can gate to and just get the barley and the flax and, and replant it and just be done and just... That that's going to be our plane's farm. It doesn't need to be. Um, it's cool watching you fly across the map. I know, isn't it? It's kind of neat. It doesn't need to be where Yagluth is or anything like that. It it's just going to be a secure location for us to farm the plane's uh, fauna or flora, flora, flora. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. I need to take a bio break. Oh, it's definitely going to be a great venture there, Hank. Uh, so I will be right back, guys. And um, oh, of course, my phone turned off. Come on, phone. Hello. There we go. All right. So, um, yes, you guys uh, stand up, stretch your legs, stretch your arms, do the, the arm twist things, you know, like we did in gym class. Am I showing my age? Right? The, the, the helicopter movements. Yeah. Rotate the arms. Yeah. Get those, uh, uh, your... Your, uh, oh god, what is that? Um, yeah, anyway, stretch your arms, your, and stretch legs. Yeah, get your shoulder to pop out of joint. Yeah, that's oh, wait, it. Sure yes, clavicle. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Collarbone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get that stretched out, and uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, I'll do the same thing.
All right, and we are back. Welcome back, Mr. Fane Tour. Thank you, sir. Welcome back. All right, so now here's the question. Do we want to do we want to do like we did with the mountains and kind of like focus on two separate planes biomes? Or do we want to tackle one together and then move on to a second one together? What are, what are your thoughts? Well, I think we can... Is you know, I don't really know the um, resource distribution. I know that for, as you say, that for um, for the totems, we're definitely going to have to uh, we're definitely going to have to go to more than one biome. Right. So um, I was thinking that at least you know we would save i would go to a second one like i did in the mountain that way when you go to get uh when you go to get uh, uh well silver what we were talking about there was all there's always going to be stuff for you to find you know what i mean right i got you so especially since you're doing it on stream and stuff and most of the my mining is not Oops. done on stream so I think we're going to do a little of both. I think we'll, at the bare minimum, we'll start with one and we'll go investigate as a team. And then, you know, whichever one you want to be the primary planes biome. And then I'll go like to the one up north of me because it's closer and I'll work on that one and we'll see what we can find. And then together we'll work on whichever one makes the most sense at the time. All right. But since we have to go to multiple ones anyway, we might as well just continue on. Right. Okay. But I'll, you know. No, it sounds but I good. I want you to come by while it's light and see my uh, see my uh, bonfire. So. Yes, absolutely. I'm just planting grass really quick. Well, I was just standing here. I'm like, I could at least be doing something. <laughs> so. B roll. That's B roll <laughs> in the real there, dude. Well, yeah. The problem is uh, with the live stream, uh, there is no B roll. <laughs> That's what I mean, yeah. be rolling the live. Yeah, it is all. There we go. All live, all B roll. We're just going to do a little stone path work over here to the stairs. There we go. I got so busy making coal that I had to upgrade my chest to a reinforced one to keep all the coal. Nice. All right. That looks perfect. That's perfection. First, oh, wait a second. I can I think we're, well, I'll leave that bench. We don't need the stone cutter here anymore. I don't need the forge here anymore. At least not for right now. All that stuff can go away. And uh, since I won't be squeezing through a portal with uh, copper in my pocket, <laughs> That copper in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Are you just is that a copper in your pocket or are you just not portaling anywhere? Yeah, that's that's the truth right there. So we'll tuck all this away. Mark Jackson, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hey Mark. I don't think I'm gonna need frost resistance meads. In the plains. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, no, I think we could. 
put most of this frosty gear back. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Well, we got to build that workbench, though, too. Hmm. Yeah, well, and the thing is, with the artisan table, I, I guess I'm going to build it here. But actually, I have a... Uh, I'm going to do another building, and it's going to be like... Um, like the alchemy shop or the seamstress's shop, something like that. And that's where I'm going to put the artisan table. I'm not going to put it here in the forge. Mm. Because the main thing about the artisan table is like the spinning wheel and, and stuff like that. So it's it's a different kind of material used, you know. So I just don't picture it in like a blacksmith forgy area. So... But that's just me. I mean, that's just what the hell I'm going to do with it. So let's see. Mountain. There we go. So we'll put that in there for now. Oh, I need to bring this with me. All right. I am heading to your place now. Right. Don't move. There you go. All right, so Marcus, hey, um, Marcus has been doing some stuff here at his place. So we wanted to show that off as well. And he's got this very cool like beacon bonfire thing going on down here. So we're just gonna follow this path because this path leads there, right? Not yet, but oh. it's almost all the way there. Okay. That's the last thing to do. That's why I haven't put the stone cutter away yet. Gotcha. Got to go get some of those rocks from up there on the mountain. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> this looks fantastic. It really does. Thanks. Really stands out well. I really... Uh, as a as an aside note, um, I'm really liking the sail on your longship. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, this but looks great. Just like, mo just like most of the things we joke about around here, it's still only in your head. Right. I don't see it. But yeah, I wanted to show you. These are the things I was talking about yesterday or whatever it was, day before yesterday. Where the hell are you? I'm up, so just come on out. Oh. So see, I added these little guys right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I also added, if you, you could say, I also put ones on the end of the beams to lay them flat. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I thought it added a lot of dimension. It does. It's a shame that you can't tilt the dragon ornaments at the same angle as, like, the 45-degree beams. That would be kind of cool, yeah, too. Yeah. Like, the, the beams I, that you have coming out the top. Right. I thought about putting one on this one just as a, you know, thing. But sure. I don't know. I used them on the house. That's the first time I've ever used them, actually. So I'm like, you know, I don't think I want to overdo it. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah, what I had here in the beginning was I had a what I really didn't like, which was just a two by three um, wooden structure. Oh, okay. Just, just you know, with a mound in the middle of it to put the to put the bonfire on. And sure. Like, yeah, I just didn't like it. I like the idea of something out here. Like I want to put some chairs out here, you know. Right. Absolutely, a bench. Kind of like a yeah, yeah you know. So you can enjoy the bonfire. So, you know, little role player stuff, but yeah. Well, that's kind of the, the whole point of all of this. I mean, th th you don't need a lot of space if you're just playing this game to survive. <laughs> oh, right. Right. You don't need to put up yeah. a cool archways and stuff like that. You know, <laughs> this serves no survival purpose well, you whatsoever. Must, you must put up cool archways. What are you talking about? <laughs> 
it's in the rules by yeah. line four yeah no i know but yeah i agree but yeah you know i mean uh, little, uh, little one room huts yeah so right. i know so yeah no i totally dig the fact that you know you know put the benches out there knowing that it's just going to be you and me here, but you put benches right. that, you know, your whole crew from the longboat's going to come wheeling in any time and park right. down and tell be... stories next to the bonfire. <laughs> yeah, like we need, we really, I really want to be able to, I know you can put, I know you can put the um, fermenting barrels, but I really would love to be able to build the small barrels so you can put like a couple of small barrels out there like there's just, you know, meat in barrels and sure cups on cups on tables so people could you know you know in theory right could come in sit down have some mead and you know tell stories by the bonfire yeah absolutely i mean and and you would just have to do it with a fermenter you know unfortunately know. yeah unfortunately you know but well, you could you put know. it up on a table so so it's elevated and then put the cups right. next to it and stuff like that yeah like one of those drink things at a party in the corner you exactly know, well you know hearth and hearth and home is eventually coming so hopefully uh, we'll probably see that next month i'm thinking yeah april sometime yeah well they they announced they they're they have a bug fix update but evidently there's something they're waiting for steam to up they're waiting for steam to update in order to uh put that out so then they're then they get back to working on hearth and home because they've been squashing bugs and and six million did you see that they went to six million yes. copies sold now that's just insanity and and good on them oh, yeah, and and, and let me just say for anyone watching that hasn't heard this already uh this is a fantastic game that costs twenty dollars the download file is one gigabyte and this is early access. They plan for nine biomes, each with their own boss. We've only seen five so far. They're also talking about adding mini bosses in something a little bit more than like the trolls and stuff like that. Or uh, as we will see soon enough, the uh, the berserkers in the plains. Uh, there, there's going to be one level above them that's going to be like the mini boss. So these are all things that they have land for the game and it's not going to cost any more 20 bucks is a fantastic i'm at uh, now i have to jump over here really quick and uh, turn on steam go to my library uh 322 hours into this game and um it is it is so worth picking up yeah fantastic value because you know yeah, what? I mean, do the math. I mean, oh, what is that, right? We've all played. Hours. We've all played triple A games that we don't put this much time into. Right? We've done it. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I ha I haven't put three hundred hours into Cyberpunk. <laughs> you know. So. Yes, and that's the thing, Mark. Small studio, five people. And one of them just does like the the community affairs stuff. Even though she's a, a very talented 3D artist in her own right, I've seen some of her work, but and the studio was literally down the street from her. She was thinking of opening up her own game studio when she stumbled into Iron Gate. And she was doing part-time 3D modeling, part-time community, and now she is full-on community because they have 6 million customers. So... It's six cents an hour, by the way. It's six cents. 300 cent hours nice. at 20 bucks. That's... 20 bucks for 300 hours at six cents an hour. Hmm. That's ridiculous. I have definitely gotten more than six cents an hour worth of entertainment out of this game. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. And, you know, people talk about, like, if you look at the back of my cape, you know, it's very pixelated. It's that whole art style. But then you look up at like Yggdrasil, you know, up there and you look at the, the lighting effects and the bloom effects. This isn't no PS2 game. They, they have chosen to put the good textures where they wanted them 
to make this game pop in the right ways. There's a lot of survival games out there that do a lot of things right, but they also do a lot of things wrong. And you can tell that these developers went through and went, hmm, that's a great idea that was poorly implemented. How can we put it into the game, but make it right? And they've done it on so many levels. Well, and let's, let's not forget, you said it already, right? It's the whole game, the whole game is one gigabyte. Right. Not 1.6 gigabytes or 1.4, no, it's- Or 80. Gigabyte, <laughs> right, or yeah. 80, but I'm just saying, right? And, you know, and it runs, the recommended video card is a, a 500 series NVIDIA card. I mean, a 500 series card. I'm I mean, thinking I could install this game on my Note 10 and play it. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a bit much, but. Well, I, you know, if I, I, I would think that the Note 10 probably has enough horsepower except that it's uh obviously the wrong processor but right are they calm now they're calm now okay you thought it was a demo <laughs> yeah i hear you or that's just the installer file like you have to download the one gig installer file so that it can download the 60 gig game file <laughs> gigs, <laughs> exactly yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, so how big is that Bethesda launcher? Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nah, dude, I, I, yeah, I've fully given up on that. I, I'm done. Anyway, where to, sir? What's next? Um, I think bed. I love the, by the way, I mean, has anybody bothered to mention, look at the glow of this thing at night when you're just standing out here. Oh, the, the bow? The bow. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Like I say, you know, it's, this is one of those things. I mean, you know, yeah, it's, it's not the best. It's not the best at everything graphics wise and stuff, but it's, it is so pretty where it, where it matters. Yep. And it's got mods. Want to update the textures? Update the textures. Absolutely. You know? And there's some great got, texture got mods. in your machine? You know, go crazy, <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, like, like I've, you know, I have a few textures installed, you know, custom textures. Like the flags. These flags look so much better than the vanilla flags do. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, they all have that same little, like velvet satin kind of texture look to them and hell i was able to like make my own flag i put my own damn logo on it no no one <laughs> no you were absolutely right true no one should be bitching about textures for a 20 dollars title that you can easily get 300 hours in yeah but of course you know they always bitch anyway they're just looking for reasons you know that's the whole problem with game reviewers these days. Oh, we're sleeping in today. Oh no, it's still up by 6 a.m. Day 314. Ooh wee. Okay. So. I, nope, see, I'm not going to do it. I am not going. Yes, I am. I was gonna, not going to go out to where we killed all these things and pick up their crap, but because I'm an idiot, uh, here I am. <laughs> picking up all their crap. So I think I'm going to just, um, since you can walk to yours, I don't know if you are going to walk to yours, your, your planes by them. Right. I, I at least want to set up a portal on the other one. Oh, well, I'll definitely be setting up a portal, but I'll, I'll set it up from my place. So that way. Right. You know, but I'm thinking ones. portaling up to, instead of sailing, portaling up to motor. Because that's where the, the big planes biome is. It's that same island for me was the first motor spot that we fought tonight. Right. 
There's a, a lot of planes just south of there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've got some of that um, revealed, so yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Oh yeah, I mean it's a great it's a great place to start. I mean you know, it doesn't really matter. We got to hit them all anyway. So right. if you want some help, I'll follow you around for a while. I got, you know, forty five minutes to an hour at the most. Well, so. let's go. Um, oh, I need some fine wood. Oh, I can grab all. I need all ten of those eyes. Can I bring you anything, cores or anything? Uh, no, I got the cores. I have eight fine wood. We need 20. But I think I'm staring at a birch tree right now. Okay. Well, let me know, because I've got it if you don't. All right. If you don't find it. Oh, yeah, there's several birch trees here. Oh, come here. Don't you roll away. 18. Ooh, die. Oh, missed. Swing and a miss. Oh, yeah. Now we've got plenty. I've got 25 regular wood. So we can set up a, a workbench, obviously. Yeah. Let me just pitch out these bone fragments. I definitely don't need those. Through the portal. On a scale of one to George Floyd, wow, Mark. <laughs> Dude, you're pushing me into the fire, man. Ah, oh, I'm on fire! Roll around in the snow. Oop, really? I hear, uh... Damn it. <laughs> I really wanted to hit him with that. Alright. So... Door. Can just head this way through this pass here. Remember when you couldn't stay on this on a mountain like this for more than fifteen seconds without dying? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, we should have gone to get bone mass. Uh, that's almost where. Well. Yeah, I don't know if you can get up there from there. Get up where from where? I was going to say, it's almost worth turning around and going to get, honestly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. For next time. Yeah, famous last words. Got, we'll be fine. I've got eat clear. I can run away faster. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can run faster than the death skeetos. Yeah, but the death skeetos are one hit kills, at least. You can see yeah, they up. are. They hit us once and kill us. Yeah, they kill us. Yeah, yeah. All right. So to our east is a little patch of black forest there on the coast. We may oh, want to yeah, may want to kind of head that direction. Yeah. Just for our initial base for this area. Until we can get a better foothold, you know? There we go.
I wonder where it went. Must be still up there somewhere. Like oh, there it is. Him. Oh, there you go. Yep. I like how you hit him with the fire arrow, and they, they, you know, it almost kills him. Then you watch the, 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 the per, the per second text. And then it dies. Ah. Alright, that is planes right there. You have to respect the planes. Well, at least we can see now. You got a Drake on you? Uh, I guess he's not on you. Or is he on you? No, he's killing whatever's over there. Oh, okay. Oh, I see a big stone monolith. That's good. Oh, hello, cloudberries. Hello, crap ton of cloudberries. Mm-hmm. Now, with the mod I have, now that I have cloudberries, I could actually plant them at my place, but I'm not going to. Because I'm treating cloudberries like everything else that comes from the plains, in that it can only be grown in the plains. Head on a swivel. Oh. Oh, I know. A little laggy there. Wow, that is a very small... Pa oh, hello. Got some fallings down here. Oh, got death mosquitoes. There's a third falling down there. Oh, you little bastard. Hell yeah. Nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> Added a needle. Where'd there's the other one, one go? Two. Oh, I don't know. Well, I thought he was farther out. But there's a there's a filling off to our I... left under the trees. Like over here? Yeah. I, oh, I see him. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Nice shot. Alright, I need to turn down my graphic settings just so I can find this damn needle in the haystack. Oh, oh, oh that was bad. File. Shut down. <laughs> Found it. See, look, it was way the hell over here. I was never going to see those little sparkles. Alright, so let's, uh, I want to come get, clean this body off this falling over here. Hopefully he was alone. Bunch of cloud berries over here. I haven't seen a locks yet, though. Oh, mosquito.
I think those are the same two I just killed a minute ago. They just respawned. That fast? Oh boy. That's terrifying. Right? But one was down here by the beach and the other one was right up in between these trees. At the uh, black metal scrap. Yep. Yeah. You call this black forest? Are you kidding me? I bet you there's no troll caves in here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's tin, there's blueberries. There's noisy beer. Yeah. Work tin. Oh, hello. Get wrecked. This is like tiny. I know. <laughs> this is the smallest black forest ever. Looks like it gets a little bit bigger up there. Oop. rocks at me that that was a fulling for a second you dude you scared the crap out of me stupid one star gray dwarf oh come here Um, well, the plants typically come right back, uh, like like a one day cycle, and then they're back. So, like, I could pick the blueberries, and then he wouldn't be able to pick the same ones. So, yeah, to answer your question, it's whoever gets to it first. Where is he? There he is. Oh, wrong weapon. that for a deer 
Just one shot. No, I know. I just didn't think we cared. I didn't want it to sneak up behind you, Marcus. Oh, okay. Thanks. I was just looking out for you, buddy. Oops, I hear him. No, that's the damn... Look at the gray dwarves over there fucking around. Uh, I guess they do have... There's a falling over there with a torch. You see him? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's not a Deskito. <laughs> He's over there tormenting gray dwarves. But look how fast those gray dwarves spawn back in. We just killed them. Yeah. Let's find a place to put that portal so if we do... Yeah, screw the pooch. Yeah, we've got a place to come back to. Because as it is right now, we're really screwed. Oh, yeah. We were totally screwed. I think down here in this black forest. Yeah. Let's uh, take a look. Yeah, I think right here might be fine. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an empty inventory space? I do. Here. Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, don't be pushing me around. Little snappy, snappy action. Oh, damn, I don't feel well rested anymore. More wood? Oh, shit. Um, I've got about 50 wood, so...
Du, du, du. Actually, yeah, that should work. Oh, that'll work even better. Let's do that. Can we get up here? There we go. Oh, shit. That didn't line up right. Skeletons versus Fullings right now. Nice. I'll let you know if they get this come this way. All right. Oops. Hello, Mr. Shaman. Nope. All right, I'm going to cut down this tree. It is not going to fall on the house. All right. <laughs> hey, look at that. I was successful. Uh, you know what? They're coming this way. The skeletons are? Nope, the full wings. Oh, shit. Come on, dude. Hey, bitch. Come on. Ooh. Oh, shit. Down to two hit points. Oh, you got him. I did get the gate up, by the way. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I at least wanted to get that up. I was like, oh, yeah, let's do that.
All right, barbarian. Ooh, that's like tastic right there. Damn, those skeletons have already respawned. Wow. need the stones for the fire or you got it? um i think i got it because i just dropped like seven right here i'll pick them up if you need them let's find out let's see build miscellaneous fire nope i hear it yeah. Floosh. we need to take that out there we go Actually, that. Your way. Sorry. No, no, no. You weren't in the way. I put the fire too close into the house, mm. and so even taking out the roof, the the smoke wasn't going right. Oh, fuck. Scared the shit out of me. Come here, you little shithead. Come on. <laughs> there. That's how you take on a death mosquito. And when you're just cutting down a tree and then that shit just, like, through the tree hits you, you're like, uh... It's floating. You putting up bug bombs? Basically. <laughs> How many more if I go? Oh, yeah, I got this one. Got you this time, you little turd.
Alright. Let's get in here. What am I missing? Oh, more wood. Damn it. Um, yeah, it's... I have 11. Okay. If that's enough. Here. It should be. I'm just throwing down bed. Pick one. Anyone. Doesn't matter. There we go. So at least our spawn point is set now. <laughs> oh, we got one chest to put the black metal in? That's what I'm going to make now. I just need a few, a little bit more wood. Yeah, I've got core wood. I'm not sure where I found core wood. I got core wood. Uh, all these pine trees around here. I guess so, yeah. All right. And my toes are going to be hot. <laughs> All right, got two chests. Yes, it is lovely weather we're having here. I think I'm going to come here and deforest this entire black forest. So what, five minutes worth of work? Oh, wait. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, my inventory is pretty full. I've only got a couple spots left. Do we want to yeah. go back? Hold yeah, on. Hold on. Two seconds now, yeah, sure. Well, let me, uh... Alright, step away from the portal. Alright, we should be good now. I hope. Dum, dum, dum. I just named it Yagluth for now. Yep. All right, we're here. Cool. And well, we survived our first uh, real trip into. Uh, Mm-hmm. Why am I all out of all wood? There we go. Cloud berries, needles. That can all go away. All right. Plains biome. Ooh, I have eight needles now. I have five. That's what you need the cloud berries for. Lox meat pie. And barley wine base fire resistance. Definitely need that. Yeah, because they light your ass on fire. All right. Back to you. What time is it? Yeah, a little bit longer. Well, so do you want 
do you want me to help you go set up a base over on your place? Nah, mine's easy, dude. Okay. There's not nearly as much work. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take over that village. Um, take over the... Um, and then set up a camp at the village? Yeah. I already have a bed and stuff there. Oh, okay. Fire and everything. I just don't have a portal there, so... Gotcha. I'll just have to either... Well, I'll probably walk over there with the portal stuff and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have cards downstairs. <laughs> Don't know where to put those. That's all right. All right, let's go find some trouble to get into. Yeah, not too hard. <laughs> Definitely one of my weirder little huts. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, though. Works well. I like these little huts, you know. You know me, I've got some pretty weird little shapes. Oh, yeah. Too. All right. Now, for those of you that didn't know, the only trees that actually grow, like full-size trees that grow in the plains, are birch trees. So if you're ever looking for fine wood, don't need bone fragments. Yeah. I have I yet to see a village. Stacked. Have you seen any signs of a village or anything over here? No, uh-uh. There's, um, I, but it seems weird where those guys, they must have just spawned out of nowhere. Well, they, I, they're like essentially like raiding parties. Oh. Where are you, you little turd? You'd be standing in that tree, I don't know. Oh, there he is. 287 damage. Yeah, there's another one over there. There he is. Oh, spear chucker. Those guys will put a hurt on you with, yeah, those with those spears. Yeah, they are. They freeze them up so they can't, uh, they can't move and they can't throw shit at you. So, Oop, black metal scrap. Oh, got a boat wreck over here. Now, are those a guaranteed drop? I don't think so. I dug one. Up, okay, because I dug one up earlier today, and that's like I dug the crap out of it, and there was nothing in it. I didn't have my. Uh, Wishbone. You didn't just open the chest that's sitting right here? Is there really a chest sitting on that one? <laughs> yeah, it's like right in the middle. Everyone that I've seen, there's always a chest sitting right there. Oh, yeah, no, the one I found today had definitely had no chest in the middle. Oh, floor. okay. It's kind of cool, though, if you actually, you can't, you can't see it, but if you dig down in here, you actually see Find the, the two halves of the of, Nice. Yeah, the rib, it's kind of cool. I hear the more. The model doesn't end just because it's in the dirt. It's pretty cool. Right. Hey, where are you? I hear him. Oh, there I he is. Him. Missed him.
God, we are sucking right now. Well, why didn't that hit him? I don't know Oh, there's a rune stone over here. Oh, not one of the good rune stones. No. Oh. Well, no. I the, I thought you were talking about like the 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 one that tells you where the boss oh, is. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Still, your mind traveler Odin speaks to those who listen here in this barren land. One of the forsaken one dwells. He's an ancient sorcerer, twisted by bitterness dragging what remains of his broken body across the sands surely odin will smile upon the wearer who can vanquish this aberrance nice shot one this thank you sir oh there's another one yeah there's two yeah oh <laughs> he's like nope dodged it last second <laughs> I didn't see it explode, but I saw him fall. I, I yeah, I saw it fall, too. Oh, no, there he is. And I got two... Oh, damn it. Heads up, he's locks. still alive. There's two locks over there. There you go. Another death mosquito over there. And there's a full lean down here and a Deskito. There's the full lean. Oh, come on. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That hit. Ah, oh, shit. You guys can't see the utter disgust on my face right now. I'm hiding it with the fact that my webcam is not on. <laughs> I watched that arrow go through the fulling. See? Son of a bitch. All right, don't go anywhere. All right, let's try this again. At least it's only happened once tonight. Oh, that's cool. I actually have my bow out as I'm standing here by the fire. One, two, three, four, lots of locks. So there's a mod out there, guys, that allows you to um, to essentially create your own map, okay? And it's called Better Continents. And then what you can do is you can actually upload it as a save world, as a save game file. 
and someone has gone and created Europe as a as a world. Uh, the British Isles. Um, and then more fantastical places like Westeros. And um, what was that other one I sent you? Um, well, the whole Earth. Right, the whole Earth. And then, oh, someone created, uh, recreated the entire map of uh, Lord of the Rings. Nice. Let's see if I can hit something. Yep, I can. Shit. I don't <laughs> know if that was a great target. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All I saw was the fulling's head over the head, over the hill. I'd say that was a fantastic target. We're going to eat well. That one doesn't even seem to be moving. There we go. Careful, there's still another filling over here. Yeah. Where'd he go? He hasn't spotted us, wherever he is. Oh, wow, look at the locks up at the top of the hill. Yeah, I was counting them earlier. There's a bunch of them. Gonna get to make my rug. Have fallings up here in these trees. There he is. Mosquitoes over the rise, and I see a fire. I think, which means we're getting up on the. Or is that just the sun going out? I don't know. Oh shit, it wouldn't get dark. This AC, uh, uh, totally different games. And considering this game started its development in 2017, I wouldn't say a copycat either. Yeah, this is, this is a survival game. And what's going on, Jason? Welcome to the stream. I think we need to head back. Yes. <laughs> I want lose these i got six pelts i don't want to lose my rug i want my rug i will trade you meat for pelts I want my rug we traveled pretty far we did shit hold on oh they spawned in behind us huh? yeah sure absolutely now, this is a survival game uh, based in, in Norse mythology. Uh, has a huge building element to it. There's at least four of them over here, dude. All right, well. Uh, 
Oh, well, now there's less than four. Oh, shit. Get wrecked. Ooh. Come on. Oh, uh, don't like that frost, huh? Oh. Incoming behind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one star spear chucker. He's going to be the one that kills me. Oh, shit. There's two of them. I have 11 health. Yep, dead. Woo-wee. I ended up in the water. Damn it. I was like, I backed myself into the water. Oh, shit. Skeletons and gray <sighs> dwarves. Ah, oh, yes. Go fight the skeletons and the gray dwarves. Huh. Fantastic. Oh, got another torch bearer over here. Um, Sneak mode. All right, um, Barbarian. Uh, I had to destroy the roof. I'm sorry. Why? Because I couldn't get out of bed. I was stuck in the roof. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, all right. Just for reference. I just telling you why when you get back and you wonder why there's no um no roof wonder why there's no roof on that part that's why yeah fuck you ah oh, shit i'm down to 7 arrows wow well, i died again damn it in my skill drain. I'm over here by your body. All right, I'm coming. Just a minute. Good. Just run for it, man. Evil little bastards. At least your tombstone floats. Yeah, that's nice. Don't need that. Don't need that. Yeah. Oh, I've been spotted. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh. Why can't there? Jesus. Okay, we were headed back to the house. For yes. Stuff. Yes, we were. Man, what a bloodbath it is up here! Just a bunch of sparkles. Oh. I know it. 
You're just a little gray dwarf. I'm okay with you. <laughs> Dude, why is there a hole in the roof? Let's put that in there. <laughs> okay, time to build a fence. Yeah, no kidding. You were you said you were gonna deforest this place. Yeah. Well there's a good use for the wood right yeah, there. Absolutely. Holy shit. Oh, more fallings. Oh, God. Okay. All right. You had the stuff in the in the chest? No. Get the stuff in the chest. Hurry. All right. <laughs> Out. Because I has no more arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bunch of arrows. The problem is they're not the good arrows. Oh, man, that was crazy. All right. Well, folks, on that note, where did you go? Are you back at the... I'm back at the forge. Coming. Be right behind you. Okay. Ooh, got four locks pelts and ten locks meat. Here. 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 Go anywhere. Yes, he wants to give me all the meat so that I'll give him all my pelts. See how that works? No, no, no. How many? No, how many? <laughs> I'm, I'm checking right now. It's only four, actually. Oh, okay. To make the rug. Yeah, I've got plenty for the rug then. You, yeah. you don't need to give me any. Works. There. Uh, Cozy on your feet. Yeah. Yes. Let's see. Oh, here. This is for you, too. You're not going to use any of it? Not now. No. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. This is what we did last time. All the stuff that we find in that one's for you. Got it. Okay. The only thing I want out of it is the needles to make arrows and the... Um, locks pelts to make a rug sure oh on that note while i'm thinking about it oop, that didn't throw right <laughs> i still caught it yeah i know well because you know you got the catcher's mitt so yeah absolutely all right and all right. it's seven in the morning which means no sleepy time no sleepy time well i'm gonna go make a rug and I am out for the day. So All right. let me go make my rug. Then I'm going to look up these arrows and see what they, how much better they are. I like the freeze arrows because they uh, slow they them down. Them. Yeah. yeah. They didn't seem to do anything to the locks. I mean, anything extra to the locks. But Needle arrows do 62 damage. Obsidian do nice. 52 well, that seems to be what that seems to kind of be the prevail, right? It's always like one more. Yeah, but the frost arrows only do 26 pierce, but 52 frost. Right. They do a lot of frost. Yeah. You almost want to slow them down and right. then switch over to like the needle or the obsidian or something like that. I guess the obsidian just says 52 pierce, so. Oh, my yeah. meat's done. All right. Comfort 50, comfort 15. Nice. Yeah, the only thing I'm missing is the throne. Yeah, which I built over here at the table. Yep. Oh, no, I guess I'm only comfort 12. 
No, you were oh, 13. Oh, Brazier. No. Yeah, you gotta be just right. I could swear I saw it say 13. No, no. Yeah. Oh, there it is. 13 right here. But 12 at the bed. Yep. So, anyway, this is all just temporary crap anyway. Right. Yeah. Wow, time to repair uh, everything. Everything. Armor's beat up. Bow's beat up. Arrow supply is beat up. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and I'm... And I filled up again before um, before we went the second time, you know. Ooh, man. Needle arrows take four needles, but no wood. And they give you 20, right? 20, yeah. Ouch. Yeah. That's no bueno. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Well, I guess you, f I don't know how you would do it. Farm mosquitoes behind iron fencing or something. Yeah. Behind iron gates. I don't know. Gosh, four per, so that means after all that I can make 40. Yeah, me too. Arrows. So Jeez. now I'm just make. I made a hundred uh, frost and I'm gonna make a hundred obsidian. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna rock yeah. right now until I get more yeah. needles. Because I would honestly much rather... Oh. How many does that take? Four. Porcupine. <gasps> oh, I just need the linen thread. I need ten yeah, linen thread. And you use the, what do you use to make the thread? I know you uh, use the, the flax. spinner, but... Flax. Okay, yeah. yeah. Flax so. becomes linen thread. So, so. Let's see. all right, well, I guess I'm going to go set the base for the feast hall. Yes, yeah, I just don't have one. Because I'm tired of storing my food in a friggin cart. I need to get a garden replanted too. Gotta have more turnips. At least for right now. All right, that's good running around food there. Probably gonna need to come up here. Uh, not much. Wait. There's one artisan table. Nice. I want it inside. I want any. I want all the things that move and glow and whatever, like inside where I can see them. You know. Right. So you're gonna put your windmill inside too? Yeah. Yeah. Right in the middle. Of my, right in the middle of my living room. Nice. That'll work out well. Yeah. All right. Hey, what man, do I got in here? It's hot. Hey, Iron. Oh, uh, here we go. I got some stone, some core wood, some fine wood. That's fine wood. Oh, That's some fine wood. All right. Come here, Mr. Kurt. Come here. Ugh. Let's 
see. Benny. Don't roll down the hill, please. Let's see. My God, that card is so going flying. I'm gonna bump it just one too many times and boof, right down into the water it's gonna go. I don't want to interfere with that. So we will take it to here. The direction of my facing. Not bad. Never built a windmill before. That's a nice place. Just remember, you're going to be using it a lot. So I know. Yeah, it's right outside the back door. Hi, Essa. That is that close enough, Essa? That's what it looks like to me.
turn right. I would say yes. Oh, that's not right. That lift right there. There we go. All right, cool. Welcome to the stream. down on my glorious locks rug and I will tell everybody good night have a wonderful evening have a great night buddy talk to you later buddy yeah I'll bye. catch you tomorrow catch you tomorrow bye and just like that like a fart in the wind Marcus is gone we'll remember him though fondly All right, I want to make sure I wasn't carving into the, getting close to the road. See, this is the reason why I, I don't uh, show you guys this stuff often in the streams, because it's just me beating on rocks for quite a while. And then I run back and forth and I check my levels and... See, I'm, I'm actually going a little bit further down than I need to, I think. Yeah. We're dipping down here in the middle. So, Essa, tell us, are you uh, are, are you playing the game or just uh, watching other people play the game? I have both here, so don't feel bad about either answer. Some people just like watching the game being played. Some people like Russ Harper, who is uh, probably playing while watching the game right now, if his internet's holding out, so... Definitely going up here. Feel that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Hank is watching and playing, too. Seems like it's sloping up. Oh yeah, it's totally sloping up. That'll tell us really quick. Really? There we go. That's actually what I want.
much better looking. Careful I don't screw up my road over here. I oh, know we'll be fine. It's a little low. See, everything's looking pretty flat. I'm getting a little bit there. Should be all right though. Yeah, that's really bad. That'll actually work. All right, let's go get some rest. Two wraiths, no trophy. Well, you know what? I've only seen two trophies in all the time that I've played Rust, so don't feel bad. I go wraith farming for chains, but now that I have a mod, it, it's expensive for me to make chains, but at least if I need chains, I don't need to go in and hunt wraith to get them or go into a bunch of crypts to get them. I can make them. But it's five ingots for two chains, so it's not cheap. All right, got some sleep. And it's raining. That's fantastic. I want to welcome all the new viewers. Welcome, everybody. Uh, earlier tonight at the beginning of the stream, we started by getting my uh, portal hub up and running. And uh, then we went and killed Motor twice. Uh, once so that um, we could put the trophy in there for right now. Eventually it's going to go in a trophy room up at the top of the hill. Uh, we did a little bit of adventuring into the plains, and we set ourselves up a, uh, a little base over here that I totally forgot to pin because I'm like an idiot. But I can do that right now. So let's, uh, let's actually get that going. Let's see. Where is it? Uh, here we go. All right. There we go. So Russ, do you know what you're looking for as far as what the Wraith spawn points look like? Man, this is looking great. Okay, so I wanna get a measurement I guess we'll start from here because I don't need to. I mean, I do have a little bit more room here if I needed to, to cut back. And I may actually need to, but let's, um, let's at least throw down some wood here. See where we're at.
Oops. We aren't nearly long enough. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. Hey, Dalton. Dude, you should know my schedule. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Three, no, that's six. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then one, two, three, four. Plus two more? God, that's going to put me way the hell over here. Yeah, it looks like I'm cutting into the mountain some more. Because I'm getting a little bit of stone, but I don't want to waste all of my the stone that I have right now filling all of this in. Uh, a feast hall. So I'm going with a, a modified uh, a long haul idea. So... Hey, Nolan. Nice. That's great to hear. That's awesome. All right. Um, yeah, no, that's very, very cool. Okay, so I guess I'm going to bring the line to here. Let me move these stones out of the way. And stone piles. There we go. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So the wraith spawn in the little shacks, that are, the little elevated shacks that have like no roof or like one little roof panel, that's where their spawn location is. So if you're looking for wraiths, it has to be at night. They will not spawn during the day and look for those little shacks. If you see the blue glow, that means that there's a wraith around. So... I hope that I can even dig deep enough. Mm, that's going to be close. Let's see where we came out. Well, not bad. Might as well dig down here. Uh, we are built... Hey, Cade. Uh, we are building a feast hall uh, for my massive, like, village area here. And it's a, uh, like, a modified, like, long haul kind of a thing. Except it's going to be running this way. And the entrance is going to be here. Hence why these boards are sticking out this direction. So you'll be able to walk in... Um, and of course, the whole idea of this build is that I'm also role playing that I'm not the only person in Valheim, that, uh, that there are others here. And, uh, so this is going to be a great hall. There's going to be, you know, long running table hearths, all that good stuff, a huge kitchen area with multiple fermenters set up, you know, like a mead, like a bar kind of a thing. 
Um, so it just kind of like over the top kind of crazy building while on a dedicated server playing with a couple mods. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. All right, that is, that's certainly the right height. I don't want to screw up the, up there, so. Thanks. That was a lot of fun figuring that out. Um, one more hit. There we go. Oh, that's a huge step up, actually. Should have come down here first. Yeah, that spiral staircase is fairly simple and with the uh with the iron beams the iron wood beams um i mean it's stupid that's literally an iron wood beam with a uh, core wood beam encasing it holding up the entire thing but yeah I probably don't even need to carve out all of this, but... Oh, finally. It stopped raining for a few seconds. It rains entirely too much in this game. That's a little high there, but again, I may end up filling this back in. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's readjust our little measuring stick here. So three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So that's as long, God, that is, I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> why, am I, why I do this to myself to make something so ridiculously huge. But um, no, this is going to be cool. So now I just need to figure out how far back I want to go. Well, where I want my, hmm. I can't go any further this way. Because I do not want to jeopardize this edge here. You can see how close I got here. Yeah, I, I don't even want to cut into this anymore. So looks like we're raising ground. I mean, I can cheat a little bit, but you know, go there. 
What was that give me? One extra meter? It's not a lot of room. Now, of course, if I set it back a little bit more, if I set the, the front of it here, right, then I would have, I would have less to fill in, I guess is my point. So let's go carve this rock. And I love when you get the perfect hits where you don't go up or down. It's just like... Bam. I think that's bedrock right there. Yeah, not going any further. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, God, can I get any further down here? No. No. How about smoothing? Can I smooth any of this? Oh, see, look, I'm getting that close. Yep, got to be careful. Ooh, okay. So, we line this up here. Oh. Ooh, man. Not bad. That's not too terrible. Because this isn't that far to lift. This would have been a lot further down here. And I don't know how deep it's going to be yet. I haven't figured that part out. But we'll get there. And one more for good measure. There we go. Oops. There we go. That was too much. Yeah, no, I have rock. Why does it say missing requirement? There we go. I think it just took a second. It's a good start. Uh, definitely need to carve this down. about right yeah that's better
And we're already another day in. Holy crap. All right, well, I guess. Might as well use the last little bit of light for today. Take that down. Okay. So, here's the idea. We're going to do at least the base, the first part of this building, with stone. And then we're going to do wood on top of it. And I probably don't have a stone cutter close enough, but that's all right. Let's check. Oh, because it's right. Oh, yeah, there's the line. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, so step over here, no stone cutter. So I'm going to go move that stone cutter. Oops. I guess we'll leave it up here just so it's out of the way. Close enough for now. Okay. So. Grab this. Find our end mark there. And it's just getting too hard to see that stuff. All right. Let's uh, go sleep. I wanted to check on the boat, see how the boat's doing. Ah, that's not too bad. Considering I have it pinned down with doors. Uh, might as well repair everything. All right, come on, sunlight. These may be too low. Build. Oh, let's find out. Oh, okay, so it'll snap. I don't know that that's actually the best idea either. Because that means it's not in the ground at all. I mean, it's sitting on the ground. I guess it doesn't really matter. Two, three, four. Oh, that's going to be way too big. I did a, a
Out of stone. That's right. I do. I have to hit the sack. Remember us discussing top World War II tanks perhaps six months ago? Let's look. Oh, cool. Awesome. I'll have to check that out. Thank you, Mark. Have a great night's sleep, buddy. Hope everyone's good and healthy. Oh, is that the... Is that what I want? One, two... One, two, three, one, two. Well, yeah, that's. Out of stone. One, two, three. Uh, doesn't matter. This gives me what I want. Shows me roughly how wide it's going to be this way. Oops. Aiming a little low there. There we go. Oops. All right. How little stone do I have left? 86. All right.
What do you think, guys? Is it going to be stupidly massive enough? <laughs> I think it's going to be stupidly massive enough. It's going to be fantastically massive enough. All right, I can get rid of all this wood trim here. Don't need that down there. Really? So, just guesstimating here, it's not where it's actually going to go, but it's a good enough approximation for me to be able to place this stuff down. Kind of get an idea as to, yeah, see I'm like way off, but it just shows me how much room I have to play with here. And I could even take these tables off the hearth just a little bit. Kind of fill out the room a little bit more. Still plenty of room to walk around. Of course, you're going to have chairs here as well. I certainly think it's wide enough. Even if we have to run some beams down the center or something like that, it's not going to feel like it's uh, enclosed. Sometimes I like that. Like in my forge, I like the fact that it, even though it's open concept, everything, there's like little tight little spots that make you feel like you're in a shop, you know? But this, I want it to feel open and airy. Even if I have big, huge columns coming down. I think this is going to work just fine. Alright, so let me go ahead and get rid of all this. Get rid of that. Hi, Don. How you doing? And I am just, uh, I'm living the dream. Just living the dream. That's all any of us can really do anyway, right? Uh, no, this is going to be a feast hall. This is going to be a big old kitchen and dining area. Bar. Oops. All right, let's, um, this is the line. think no I gotta move over more
That's the line. Oh, damn it. And that wasn't the line. Whoopsie. I guess it is. I don't know. That looks weird. Those rocks are fixing to come down. Talk about shaving just a hair off, huh? Exactly, Don. <laughs> and in the mode, I'm putting a dining room. <laughs> At least we can get down to the right level or close enough anyway. Yeah, that's bedrock right there. That's going to be a problem. Well, we'll just make two. Try and get as many, as much of this as low as possible. Break on through to the other side, you know. Keith, how you doing, buddy? Come on, man. I'm just full of all kinds of quotes. I'm always full of all kinds of quotes. I can't believe this surprises you. That is great to hear, Don.
<laughs> no, I stay out of LA. Oh no, I don't feel well rested anymore. So Dom, what are you doing for work now? I ain't getting too dark again. But I don't want to leave all these stones out here for multiple days. Because even though they're within range of, uh, of the workbench, I don't want them despawning because I want them all. These rocks are like Pokemon. I want to collect them all. That was a big chunk. Off recovering from surgery. Still have the... Oh, okay. Don't you disappear and then reappear on me. All right, time to go get some rest. Yeah, I definitely need to go collect more guck so I can outline the, uh, the top of the portal hub. Ah, it's just so pretty.
Uh, sounds like we got stormy weather out here. But look, my boat's not moving at all. I want to see if a wave is going to come over the top of my boat because I have it pinned down. The doors haven't taken any damage. The boat hasn't taken any damage. This is a fantastic system. Ah, that's funny. You guys see the broken water come up over the, the ridge line? Yeah, see, look at that. That's technically underwater right now. And then the... <laughs> Yeah, I've done broke the water. Actually, it's been broken over here since I moved here. Yeah, it's like it, it's like a, that whole cell is like broken. I don't know what how it happened, but uh, yeah, see, look there. You can see it, too. The corner of it's right here. Yeah, I'm not sure how it happened, but ever since I've been here, it's been like that. Oh, I have no doubt about that, Keith. I get a little bit of water come in once in a while with a really, really bad storm. Oh, yeah, it gets really bad in there. Actually, I can just pick all this up right now. Don't know where the flint came from, but that's all right. All right, so let's finish getting this leveled out. If it's raining, why is there so much dust when I use the hoe? See that one little divot right there? See the little pin drop down? Oh yeah. That's how you can see your low spots. Right there. That's a low spot. That didn't fix it. You just massage it through again. Oh, spot gone. There. All right. That's as good as I think that this is going to get. I mean, if you guys were looking up here... I spent the same kind of time just going around. Luckily, I didn't have any any vertical faces going up. So it was just about... Um, well, mainly I cut off the top of this mountain here is what I started doing. Um, so I only had to go around a couple of these edges to get them cleaned up. So, All right. So I'm going to get these stones, this first ring laid out. If I have enough rock to do it. If not, we'll just have to figure that out, won't we? Yeah, 183 rock. Probably not enough. Um, Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, we make our turn. No, we can go one more.
know what? I'm thinking maybe I don't want to do the rounded corners. I mean, it's not going to change anything. Maybe I want to do something different. Because I've already done rounded corners for a, a, a hall like this. Let's square it up. Hmm. See? Glad I figured this out now, huh? So do we want to go here? Is that going to work? Because this is uh, pretty much the line here. So I may have to fill this in a little bit. Uh, you know what? Screw this stupid workbench thing. God. There we go. Do the little smoothie smoothie action over here. What do you want? I have no work for you. Ah. I do have more. Okay, that's just what I had on me. Whoo, good. Okay. So, how many floors wide are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, if I snapped floors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we're Perfectly seven floors. We know a hearth is just over one, right? Yeah, the hearth isn't, I mean, it's not one and a half. Well, I guess maybe, no, it's not one and a half. We're going to call it just like one and a quarter. So just for visual sake here. We're just going to put that there. Okay. It's not perfect. But again, we're just kind of figuring things out here. Float this. That still gives us almost two full floors. Put the chairs here. Uh, yeah. I mean, essentially it gives us two full floors to walk around everything. And we'll get that on both sides. So, yeah. And I guess I can leave these floors up. It doesn't matter. Really?
See, we hit the bedrock right here, but it, we were still able to squeeze in enough of it, so. Perfect. Yeah, a bar on one side, kitchen on the other, or maybe, maybe I slide everything this way by like one floor. And uh, which gives us room to do the bar on the back and then the kitchen over here. I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out. But for right now, I've only got 63 stone left. So for tonight, we're going to call it done. And um, I will be streaming Valheim again on Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Time. Uh, I'm going to go until noon because that's when Sardiliac starts streaming. And I don't want to, you know, compete or interfere or any of that stuff with his stream. He's been streaming forever on Sundays. So, um, yeah. And then I will be streaming Sim Settlements 2 on Sunday evening from about 5 till 7. And then Valheim again Monday night. So I want to thank all eight of you currently tuned in with 13 likes. I appreciate that. And um, yeah, I will be back very soon. I'm not going to work on this anymore until the next stream. I am going to go get some more rock, though, because obviously um, I'm going to need a crap ton of it. But if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, hit me up on the Discord. A uh, link for that is in the description down below. And until next time, I want you to take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.